the poor and slow pass there by Roderick Rhodes. You got to take that ball strong to the hoop. They had a three on one, came out of it with nothing. Nice screen by Barkley, freeing up a game. Barkley uh, <laughs> backs up on O'Neill. He's going to shoot the three, <laughs> and he hit it. First field goal of the quarter for the Rockets. It's a three from Barkley. And, and that three gets him back on top. They're coming quick on the double team from everywhere. And Akeem traveling on Shaquille. And Akeem really gets a lucky break. Charles Barkley with the three. And the Rockets have recaptured the lead on the Lakers. Biggest stars as they soar into the night. We hit the stage to watch the NBA play. On the front floor. I love this game. I love this game. I love this game. <laughs> this game. Next Saturday, Dwayne Woodward leads the Boston College Eagles against John Thompson's Georgetown Hoyas. College basketball next Saturday at 2.30 Eastern on NBC. Rockets lead the Lakers by one as Matt Maloney takes a seat on the bench. One of the reasons they are in front is uh, Maloney's outplayed Nick Van Exel. Over the last 14 games, Matt Maloney's averaged 13 and a half points on 51% field goal shooting. He's had the best of Nick Van Exel today, but fortunately for Dell Harris, Derek Fisher has come in and played very, very well. Uh, but there's a lot of time for Nick to quick to get into this ball game, and the real secret will be getting into an open court and, and doing some of his magic. Laker backcourt, 16 to 8. Charles Barkley's been very productive in that six-man role we've been discussing. 11 points in eight minutes. Bad looking shot from a team. And O'Neal has it to Bryant. Five boards for Shaq. Stolen, knocked away by Rhodes. Here's Price. Price takes it to the hoop and threw it away. Now the, the Lakers did a good job getting back in transition. Price didn't have anywhere to go, tried to make a pass, turn it over. And the Lakers have now turned it over five straight times. Eddie Jones pumping his chest saying, my fault, my fault. That ball was right to Kobe Bryant, who just pulled his hands down. Jamal Wilkes would have turned that into a layup. Elijah Wan backing away on O'Neal. Seven on the shot clock. Rhodes got a screen from Elijah Wan. Nowhere to go. Finds Barkley. And up against the clock, Barkley pounds it through. 13 for Charles. And Charles had something to say to the fans in the front row who were taunting him, thinking that shot was going to be forced into a miss by the great defense of Eldon Campbell. They didn't need any more rain, but that one could have brought <laughs> more El Nino rain. Here's Van Exel for three. Tom, we always need rain <laughs> in California. Now, Barkley's calling for the ball, but he's been the reason that the Rockets have gotten on top, uh, taking Eldon Campbell outside. He's fouled. Barkley already has scored 13 of Houston's last 17, and he'll try to get two more. Charles, who's just been terrific in every aspect of the game since he came in, is going to get isolated against Eldon. He just keeps throwing it up higher and higher, touches the top of the forum here, and then isolated along that baseline. It's not a good matchup for Eldon Campbell to be drawn that far out on the floor with a guy like Barkley who can dance with the ball. So he's been back at the free throw line, shooting over the top of the defense. He's given them the offense that they need uh, to hold on to the lead. Ori returns for Campbell. Uh, Charles had a few uh, comments on Kobe Bryant mania, too, didn't he? He's saying that the people have to let Kobe grow up and let him become the great player that everybody is trying to give him. He was saying that, you know, that Eddie Jones is a much better player right now than Kobe Bryant. And, and, it, and it should not just be about hype. It should be about delivering on the court, which is what Charles Barkley is all about. He's given the Rockets a four-point lead. Shaq draws the double team, quickly passes out of it. Jones, Bullard fouled it. Eddie 
Eddie Jones is going to go to the line here. As I said earlier, he was a little bit late to come to basketball. It wasn't until he was 16 years old and his dad died that he realized that, hey, I got to get to work out there. And that's when his basketball career really took off. Don't forget, coming up next on NBC, game two of our doubleheader, Grant Hill and the Pistons into the Windy City to face Michael Jordan, Scotty Pippen, and the world champion Bulls. Game two of our doubleheader coming up next. The defense of both teams has been pretty alert. They've had a lot of hands, a lot of deflections on ball, so uh, both teams are in it at the defensive end, and it comes down to a question of good offense, and uh, this is a concern for the Rockets just inbounding the ball. Backcourt pressure from the Lakers. Price beats it with a pass to Akeem. Lakers have tried everything, Tom, to get the tempo up, but the Rockets have just been too smart, too disciplined, and have rebounded too well. Nice pass. Barkley from Akeem. Charles Barkley. Charles Barkley with 16 points, 12 in the quarter. He's done the 16 points in only 11 minutes of play. Jack is quickly passing out of the double team, triple team that time, and he missed it. Barkley takes it the other way. Shaq did a fine job of reposting. Oh, turn over. Backcourt violation. That Rare mistake by Charles that time. He, he, he has had this game in his control mentally since he entered the game. And he was saying that, you know, I don't really care about starting Charles Barkley. He says, I, all I want to do is, is win and do whatever I can to help the team. The statistics, the money means absolutely nothing. I've got all of those. I want to win everything. We're trying to find Shaq again. Twisting, turning, missing, but he's fouled. Let's see if it's Akeem. It'd be his third. We know that it's on Roderick Rose. Akeem is doing everything he can. You see Shaq just using that shoulder, using those arms. Notice the way, though, Shaq keeps both arms on the ball, both hands on the ball. He rarely gets called for an offensive foul down low because he keeps those hands tightly on the ball. What about his shoulders and his body? I mean, <laughs> that's where you're going to get the offensive foul. Forget the well, ball. The referees haven't picked up on that part yet, Steve. <laughs> Nine points, six boards for Shaq. That one sounded bad. Three of five at the line for Shaq. It's a three-point game. Whenever the Rockets get pressure on the ball, that's when they struggle, and they like to get the ball set up deep early, and uh, Price goes for three. With three, front rim to Barkley. Bullard for three. This would be a good time for the Rockets to take a key out. He's got the two fouls. It'd be great for the Rockets if they could go into the half and start the second half with him just having those two. Matt Bullard is a 41% three-point shooter. Here's Bryant trying to answer, and he does. Kobe Bryant for three. Kobe is so much better when he... Uh-oh. Eddie Jones. And his shot is blocked. Or he got it back. Jones for three. Bullard the rebound. Hey, you got a mismatch here. Barkley should think about going real quick to the rim against Shaq. Shaq does not like to be out of here. Isolated. <laughs> Charles smiling at him. Takes it to the rim, and Shaq fouls him and is not happy about it. Anytime you get a center outside, you want to have a field day and a quick move inside, and Shaq starts waving, and it's one. This is not easy. This is a tough, tough job, and I'm more scared. It's scarier to me now than it was when I first started because there's a lot of work to do. A very candid Larry Bird talks with Bob Costas coming up at halftime. Right now in Los Angeles, the Rockets lead the Lakers by three as we rejoin Tom Hammond, Steve Jones, and Bill Walton. All right, Hannah, thank you. We'll come back with Charles Barkley heading to the free throw line. All Charles has done since uh, coming into the game in his 12 minutes in the contest, he's hit five of six field goals and five of six free throws. But this is a gift opportunity for Charles Barkley <laughs> at the line as Shaquille O'Neal came up with a great block shot defensively. But the foul was actually called on Robert Ory. 
Now we've had a uh, he was a non-factor in the play. A continuing dialogue. <laughs> Well, Steve talked about a, a forward's dream. This is a center's dream. The guy coming to the hoop and double clutch and Shaq just wide open, right over the top of the ball. Ori was not even a factor. You see Ori's hand on top of his shoulder there. <laughs> Charles, second free throw. No good. He missed them both. Maybe you were right. <laughs> Justice. Let's go to Jim Gray. All right, thank you guys. Well, Del Harris during that timeout told us, guys, we have so many turnovers because everybody's standing around. If you guys are going to stand around offensively, there's no place for the ball to go. It either forces a bad oh, shot or a turnover. Move around. Become active. Tom? All right, Jim. Uh, Jim is right on that because the Lakers have not used their defense to generate any sort of transition offense. It's not a particularly efficient offensive half-court team, the Lakers, unless Shaq is killing people. That has not been the case today. Kevin Willis committing that last foul, and here's another Houston foul as Jones takes them both. Second on Roderick Rhodes. Uh, Rhodes picks up uh, the personal foul. That is his second, fourth team. The, the Rockets had done very well and stayed out of team foul problems. The next one will send them into the uh, send the Lakers to the penalty. Van Exel against Price. Here's the entry pass to Shaq. Quick pass out of the double team. Jones, the open three. O'Neal, offensive board. This is off. Jones rejected by Barkley. Phenomenal bark blocked by Charles that time. Who's wide open in the corner. Give it to him. Let him take Shaq again. Here he is. Bryant doubles down. Rhodes reach in foul on Eddie Jones. Uh, Eddie Jones uh, trying to make the steal gamble. You got to find out whether Roderick Rhodes is going to score points. Uh, the, the problem with Rhodes is he's not a good perimeter player, hasn't finished when he's gotten by his man. These are things that he'll hope will improve in, but so far he hasn't been an offensive threat, so don't reach and gamble. But a huge success story, Roderick Rhodes, uh, whose career was apparently over when he and Rick Pitino didn't get along back there at Kentucky. He comes out here to USC, Henry Bibby, the great coach, rescues that career, and he becomes a first-round draft choice and has lived up to those expectations. And has started 12 games for the Rockets at three different positions. Point guard, shooting guard, and small forward. And Exel on the pick and roll, couldn't find Ori. Tries to take Price off the dribble. Can't hit the shot through the hands of Willis. And right back to L.A. Bryant for three. You really have to wonder if Nick Van Exel's knee is killing him. The Rockets are going to take a 20-second timeout. Kobe Bryant in double figures with that last three-point shot, and Van Exel does not look happy. Uh, Van Exel just ended up taking a tough shot, but they have a lot of patience with the second possession. Kobe Bryant sticks his second three in the quarter. He's got ten, and the Lakers, they crawl back to within one. Kobe Bryant with ten points all this quarter and is the leading reserve scorer in the NBA and coming off that starting spot at the All-Star Game, the youngest ever. There you see that he has a, a sizable edge on Danny Manning, Starks, Newman, and Murray. You know, everyone yeah. says it's his height, but those numbers are legit. And, you know, they're only going to get better. So I, I don't think that people are incorrect in expecting greatness from him. But he's not there yet. I think that's the point Del Harris and others are making, that in fact, Del Harris says the next step will be to make his teammates better. There are people that would love to have 18 points a game. <laughs> <laughs> and he's raised that average by 10 points a game from last year when he got very limited playing time. He's One. the only Laker to hit a three today. He's two of three. The rest of the team 0 for 6 from the arc. Now Drexler's back in and we'll see what he can do in a minute plus to get himself offensively geared up. More on the shot clock. Rhodes had to force it up and got it back. Now the Rockets play two for one here. Shoot it 40, and they'll get the last shot of the half. The give and go, perfect execution, Roderick Rhodes. Houston free throws upcoming with 49.2 left till halftime. Barkley's been a big factor in this game, coming off the bench for the Rockets and giving them a definite spark. 
huge uh, second quarter for Barkley uh, and basketball remains a simple game a little give and go gets Roderick Rose a chance to shoot a pair of free throws. Rhodes has two shooting for three the bench scoring thanks to Charles Barkley a slight edge for the Rockets. Three point game at the 45 second mark and the Rockets are going to get into halftime with Akeem only having two fouls. Akeem on the bench at the moment. Fox forced his way in had it blocked by Willis. Let's see. First they said Houston ball. Now they change the call and give it to the Lakers. But there's only five on the shot clock, so the Rockets are still in good shape. Now Rudy's out there. He wants to jump ball. They tell him no. But, but the Lakers have been confused in their half court set. They really haven't done a good job here in the first half of consistently uh, making that half court work for them. Fox misses a three. And it'll be Houston ball with 25.5 left. Barkley is such a phenomenal rebounder. His positioning, his timing. The Rockets will play for one right now. I'd come back with Charles Barkley. He's been the money guy here in the first half. Been doubling off Roderick Rhodes and now. Drexler working his way in the paint. Misses the shot. He's had a tough first half. Oh, for the half. Here's Van Exel. Takes it to the rim and draws the foul with 1.2 seconds left. The problem for Van Exel in this first half offensively has oh, been he's been taking some very difficult shots. A little bit out of control. You watch him coming down. He thinks he's going to get Price to bite on a fake, and he doesn't. Stays in front of him. Fortunately, he gets bailed out. Frank Price has uh, been the one of just two players who's read to recover from two torn ACLs. Danny Manning being the other one. Price still shaking his head as Van Exel notches his first point of the game. And Nick just doesn't look right. And he's got the, the half beard there. He's late to arrive today. And, and usually when Nick is not playing great in the big games like this, it's because that knee is very, very sore. He's just not telling anybody about it. And the free throws by Van Exel as Rose lets fly from midcourt. Make it a one point game at halftime. Houston now scoring the Lakers 18 11 to end the quarter. Kobe Bryant keeping LA in it. And Charles Barkley, 12 in the quarter, 60 in the game off the bench. We'll join Hannah Storm for the Prudential Halftime Report in just a moment. NBC. Halftime at the Forum with Houston leading the Lakers 46-45 thanks to the uh, six-man work of Charles Barkley. Steve, it's a good thing that Charles uh, did come to play today because the other uh, two-thirds of the big three uh, were missing in action. Yes, uh, the Rockets, Drexler, and Olajuwon are struggling, and the real key is to get the dream in the game. Three shots, two fouls, not going to win that way. But for the Los Angeles Lakers, their defense was terrific, holding Houston to 37% shooting. The Lakers' offensive fast break attack was non-existent. Just four fast break points. Nick Van Exel only has two points. And the Laker forwards, I've been singing their praises all year long. They have just not shown up again today. Cerebral forwards. Is that what you said? <laughs> that is. You're killing me, Tom. <laughs> Miller Lite halftime stats look like this. Kobe Bryant off the Laker bench with 10 points. Eddie Jones has 10. Shaq held the nine points. In that first half, here's Kobe's shot chart. Kobe, four for six on the night. You see he's got a couple of threes. He's been getting a lot of opportunities. Six shot attempts, that's not enough for him. Charles Barkley had 12 of his 16 points in that second quarter. Here's a look at his shot chart. Charles Barkley, a little bit of everything. He just missed one, and that was a layup, but he's got that big three-pointer. Let's go to Jim Gray. All right, thank you very much, Tom. I'm here with Rudy Tom Janovich, the Rockets head coach. You really struggled offensively, shooting the ball poorly and a lot of unnecessary turnovers. What'd you tell you guys? Yeah, absolutely. That uh, those things are going to come around. That we've uh, got to keep our poise. But defense has kept us in this game, and we got to continue to to double aggressively. 
any specific plan to try and get maybe Drexler or Lajuan going? Yeah, we're, you know, we've had some open shots, and uh, we had to stick with them and just shoot with confidence. Okay, Rudy, good luck in the second half. All right, thank you, Jim. All right, let's send it back out to you, Tom. All right, Jim, getting ready for the third quarter. The Rockets leading by one, bidding for their first victory of the season over the Lakers. We start the third at the Forum with the Rockets leading the Lakers by one, 46-45. The L.A. offense so far being carried by Kobe Bryant and Eddie Jones. 20 points between them, only 25 from the rest of the team. Tom, one of the big problems for the Lakers is they're not getting to the foul line. They lead the NBA in free throw attempts per game at 33. In the first half, they only took nine free throws. Jones, Ori, O'Neal, Fox, and Van Exel, original starting five for the Lakers. Well, they're going to try to start getting the ball into the wrecking crew of uh, Shaquille O'Neal. Uh, he thought he got fouled. Nothing there. Offensive rebound, Ori. Van Exel launches a three. Tapped by O'Neal. No good. Finally, the follow shot goes. Rick Fox. Akeem spending so much time and energy trying to keep Shaq away from the basket. No defensive rebounding presence by the rest of the Rockets. Pressure really hurts the Rockets, and the Rockets are now right at the uh, midcourt line, and they don't get into it. Willis threw it right to Jones. Here's Van Exel. The trailer, Fox, lays it in. Couldn't have asked for a worse start to the second half for the Houston Rockets. They've been outscored four to nothing. And when Elijah Wan gets it right here, he's got to be more aggressive and looking for his shot. Now he's going to come at O'Neal. Gives up the shot. Drexler for three. He's 0 for 9. Fox for three. Easy rebound for Drexler. When you're struggling offensively, what you got to do is get something easy. Open up that rim. You got to uh, work a little bit harder to get closer to the rim. Don't spend a lot of time on the perimeter. Clyde Drexler has always been at his best, Steve. You know him as well as anybody when he's rebounding the ball and driving it up the court. Team just looking to pass out of that low post offense. Can get away from Shaq. Maloney takes it to the rim and scores. Normally, Shaq would just get in the air and gobble that up, maybe even swallow the ball, but he is so concerned staying at home with Akeem. Maloney's three for three, eight points. O'Neal lost it. Drexler leads the break. Three on two. Maloney blocked by Fox. Rudy Tomjanovich cannot believe that a foul was not called that time, and Ori comes out in a lot of pain. This is a, a good play at both ends of the floor. Maloney goes up, shows the ball a little bit early, and uh, Fox knocks it away. And in the process, Robert Ori lands uh, right down in the camera area and may have banged that knee. Ori been uh, troubled with uh, a few nagging injuries lately. Missed three games with a abdominal muscle, partial hernia. And he's talking about having to have surgery on that hernia in the offseason, so that's not a good sign as there is Still, what, four months to go before the championship begin? <laughs> Full time out instead of a 20. Full and time. while they tend uh, to Robert Ory, we'll take a break. Early in the third, Lakers have captured the lead. The best thing about being an offensive player is know-how, and Kobe Bryant has plenty of that. But Barkley's ability to step to the perimeter answers Kobe's mistakes there, and Charles running out on the break. And then his movement without the ball, the strength in Charles Barkley's hands. Kobe's such a better player when he's just stroking it off the pass. And you see the numbers today, almost a wash. In recognition of this look inside the game, Miller Genuine Draft will donate $1,000 to the Thurgood Marshall Scholarship Fund. Robert Ory leaving uh, the court with the injury. Jim Gray will have a report for us. Meantime, Corey Blunt has replaced him in the Laker lineup. They got to get this guy off the mark, and that is the large one. He puts it out. Uh, they may not get a shot off against the shot clock. Four to shoot, and Willis does. Eddie Johnson battling with Blunt for the rebound. It'll be Laker ball. Robert Ory leaving the court with the uh, assistance of Gary Vitti on the left of your screen there, Gary, the great trainer. He'll get him better and get him back out there. Meanwhile, the Lakers have the ball, leading by one. 
Shaquille, the double down from Willis. Jones, baseline move on Drexler, pretty scoop, but it won't go down, and Willis clears it for the Rockets. The intimidating presence of Akeem in the middle forced Jones into a very tough double clutch, and Willis just gobbled up the miss. Johnson blocked by Blunt, and O'Neal recovers. This has not been the prettiest offensive game that we've seen this year. And O'Neal, no shot, they say, foul out on the court. Kevin Willis uh, trying to keep him out of uh, the low post. What Shaquille has done better this season and done it consistently this afternoon is get a deep low post position, too big and too strong for either Elijah Juan or Willis to keep him out of that spot. Now he's just got to get the ball, go to work. Barkley still on the Houston bench. Played such a uh, important part off the pine in the first half. Fox is fouled. Let's go to Jim Gray for an update on Robert Ory. All right, thank you very much, Tom. Well, Robert Ory has been taken back into the locker room here. He is now being attended to by the Laker training staff and Dr. Lombardo of the Lakers. Right now, they're saying that it is a groin injury. They don't know whether or not right now it is related to his hernia. They're checking him out, and when we have some more information, we'll get it out to you guys. Tom? All right, Jim. I guess uh, you know when you've arrived when you get two microphones. <laughs> <laughs> Steve took mine. We can hear you without one. <laughs> Fox ready for the second free throw. Well, Fox has scored all of the points for the Lakers here in the third quarter play. That's six in the quarter, and they're going to press again, and, and this is going to slow things down for the Houston Rockets, and it forces them to play further out on the floor. Steve, you talk about slowing the Rockets down. They had eight fast break points in the first six minutes of the game. Not a one since then. Drexler to Akeem. And Akeem has six. Drexler the assist. Best of friends, Clyde Drexler and Akeem, all the way back to college. Clyde helped Akeem a lot with his therapy because Clyde's undergone a similar surgery himself. Fox continues to line it up for the Lakers. 11 points. He has scored all the Laker points this quarter. Well, uh, you'll start feeling better about Rick Fox now that he's made a few <laughs> a few, few moves. Elijah Wan. Cerebral ones, too. <laughs> I love these Laker forwards. Rick Fox and Robert Orr. He has nine in the quarter in four minutes. There's another second straight bucket from Akeem. Uh, O'Neal is going to concede that jump shot to Elijah Wan. He doesn't want him to get inside. Willis quickly comes to double O'Neal. Jones to Shaq. I <laughs> reversed it. So strong, so powerful. Akeem doing absolutely everything he can do. Devastating power and force by Shaquille O'Neal. Shaq is 4 of 10 shooting. He has 11 points, 10 rebounds. Remember, since the break, 36 points a game. Drexler finally gets one to fall. That is his first bucket of the game. He's 1 for 10. O'Neal with a nice pass to Blunt, who's fouled. The, the defense of the Houston Rockets is so concentrated on getting to O'Neal and getting to him early that they're leaving seams open. Robert Ory comes back out. Such a critical performer, Robert Ory, expert at feeding the post, playing the great defense. Matt Buller replacing Eddie Johnson for the Ory coming off his best game of the season against Seattle. He had 15 points and 14 rebounds, as Tom mentioned, 10 of those on the offensive glass. Blunt's second free throw, no good. Drexler with the rebound, and the Rockets have it. Drexler with six boards this afternoon. Rockets down three. Come back to that same play with Drexler on the post against a smaller Eddie Jones and see if he can either make a pass or a shot. Elijah on. From 15, rolls off. Willis tap. Drexler batted at it. Finally, Fox chases it down for the Lakers. Van Exel. Nick just not looking aggressive on the offensive end today. Tough shot from Corey Blunt. And those two guys, Corey and Nick Van Exel, go back to their college days when they both starred for Cincinnati and Bobby Huggins. Just under six and a half minutes left in the third quarter. Trying to keep Shaq out of the uh, low post when they've got the ball so that Willis can go to work. Misses once, but not twice. Remember, uh, Kevin hit his first three shots, and that's his first field goal since then. 
He's too strong. Kevin Willis is for Corey Blunt. They may have to come with Eldon Campbell. But the pace of the game allows uh, the Houston Rockets to stay in the game. Fox. Oh, oh Rick Fox. Who said something to him at halftime? 11 in the quarter, 13 in the game. And Houston oh. takes the timeout. Kevin Willis had missed eight straight shots before he hit that last one. And Kevin Willis says they've been really very successful with that jump hook. Doesn't get it the first time. Comes right back with it the other way. But and no answer for Rick Fox. Rick Fox coming right down the middle. The Rockets part like the Red. I can't give up. I can't stop trying to fly. can't get down Hello. not going anywhere for a while grab a snickers because nothing handles your hunger better oh hey little man so you can run inside and tell somebody to get some pie hungry why wait how do you get this nissan front just change the formula. This is our first time. Add me, not my first time. Marlon Wayans, David Spade, Senseless. Rated R. Starts Friday everywhere. The NBA on NBC is brought to you by Miller Lite, who reminds you that anything can happen at Miller Time. By Wendy's Big Bacon Classic, you can taste the difference fresh makes. And by Nissan, who reminds you that life is a journey. Enjoy the ride. Tom Hammond, Steve Jones, Bill Walton at the Forum, where the Lakers, trailing at halftime, have come back behind the play of Rick Fox. Let's look at those forwards you like so well. Ori, who was injured a moment ago, but is back out on the court, though not in the game. And Rick Fox. Rick Fox, Fox is one of those guys, Tom, who took a lot less money to come here and play for the Lakers. Maloney for three. Drexler, the offensive rebound. But Fox had the opportunity to play for Cleveland, New York, Atlanta for big money. He said, hey, I remember what it was like in North Carolina. I want to be part of something really special, and he sees that here for the Lakers. Akeem is the open man. Shot never got above the level of the rim, but Van Exel couldn't handle it. And Drexler hammered as he takes it to the hoop. So the Rocket did a good job of moving the ball around, got a couple of shots, and then the third possession, they finally get a chance to score with Drexler going to the line. Uh, the Lakers are trying to close down on the low post in uh, whenever Elijah Juan or Drexler get it. Clyde, one of ten. Tough afternoon. And there's been so much ma been made, Steve, of this uh, reported feud and rift between Clyde Drexler and Charles Barkley, two of the top 50 players of all time. And when you talk to them about it, they say that a lot of that is just talk. And when teams start losing, everybody seems to start going in other directions. And as soon as this team gets back to its winning ways, all that stuff will be put behind them. Have you ever heard a teammate say, I, I can't stand a teammate? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've been on some of those teams. Not in public, you have. Did they say it about you or about someone else? <laughs> they usually said it about me, Tom. I don't believe that. Charles Barkley had a big first half off the bench. Has not seen action yet in the third quarter. Again, pressure uh, really throws the Rockets out of sync. And uh, they've been fighting the shot clock, just getting the ball over the timeline, setting up. Now the shot clock, down to six. Good closeout by Fox. He tripped Matt Bullard, though. Rick Fox assessed the foul. Bullard is not a guy that likes to put the ball on the floor. Fox committed himself and then just realized I'm beat, so let me trip him. When you look at Fox's haircut right there, he had a big shaggy mop up there, and then his mom started calling him and saying, what's the deal here? He said, Mom, I'm, I'm, I got to play in, uh, in my TV series, Oz, <laughs> over the All-Star break. Oh, a game. That is too sweet. Put it on the floor. Went right around Shaq. He has 10. 
Shaq posting up low, wants the ball, try to return the favor on a key. There he is. Double down, triple team, and foul. Akeem is the only player I've ever seen oh, that has had ultimate success against Shaquille O'Neal. He gets him here isolated on the perimeter. The great crossover move there. Dell Harris is very frustrated and upset with the lack of rotating defense. You know, Akeem is one of those guys, he, he studies NBA videos about guards' moves, about how he can create. He says the centers, hey, they don't really have games. I got to learn from the guards. I guess some center spoke the truth. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Jack uh, telling us earlier that uh, he got one of his paychecks. I don't know what it was, $10 million or something. And he went in and picked up that paycheck, and it was supposed to be for $10 million. Look down there, it was more like $5 million. He said, who is this FICA guy anyway? <laughs> <laughs> A one-man bailout of the Social Security system. <laughs> I had tears in my eyes when they sacrificed that Shaq was making. I don't know about you. <laughs> 12 points, 10 boards for Shaq in the game today. Barkley in against a smaller Derek Fisher. He's just going to pound his way deep. Bullard for three. Matt Bullard, bullseye from the three-point arc, and the Rockets by one. Eddie Jones slipped out of the ball game. Kobe Bryant is in. Deflected by Akeem out of bounds. Anytime you get mismatches, good things happen for you, and Barkley's waiting for the defense, and it never really got down there. Corey Blunt was a little late. That allowed Bullard to measure that shot, and, and that's what he does. He, he lives off of other players' mistakes. G. Laker forwards, Ori and Eldon Campbell. Box for three. Rebounded by Akeem. But those Laker forwards are non-factors here in the second half. Six rebounds for Akeem. Barkley, tough catch. He was fouled by Blunt. That'll be four on Corey Blunt. There's something about a basketball that just makes people reach. And even when a guy is right in front of you, you know you can't get through it. You come through his back. And not a good play for Corey Blunt. Well, as it stands now, the Rockets are in the eighth and final playoff position in the West. But with Akeem back and with Barkley now playing this valuable six-man role, of what are their postseason prospects? The problem is the teams ahead of them are playing great. Yeah. Uh, Phoenix is really uh, on fire. Big win at San Antonio last night. Minnesota's coming alive, although Gugliotta's health is a question mark. And Portland with the big trade. Akeem fouled as he made the ball fake, and Blunt went for it big time. If it's on Corey, it's number five. Uh, they're going to use all of his. They just brought Eldon oh, Campbell in uh, to uh, give Shaquille O'Neal a little bit of a breather. So, I mean, Blunt uh, will stay out on the floor um, through much of this second half. Mario Bennett is going to come in and relieve him right now. Elijah one thought he was going to get a, a couple of shots. So Mario Bennett replaces Corey Blunt. He picked up his fifth foul. But, Steve, coming into this game, you know, Shaq has been the one who's been on the huge roll, and Akeem has been up and down coming back from the injury, and that has not been the case today with Shaq sitting on the bench a lot. Well, well, Shaq got a good start. His director hoist another three. Way short, but Akeem chases it down. Akeem, up and under, missed it. Fox. Filling the lane was Fisher, had to chase down the pass. They should isolate for Kobe Bryant right there. He's guarded by Matt Maloney. Here's Fisher against Bullard. That's a mismatch in quickness. Fisher shoots over him, though, and rebounded by Drexler. That's eight boards for five. Middle is open for Barkley. Backing in on Bennett, draws the double team and gets rid of it. Bullard passed up for three. He'd been two for two from the arc. And hits from that point. Matt Bullard contributing off the bench. He has eight. And again, it's that second unit coming alive. Spearheaded by Barkley. Even though it's not just the numbers and the rebounds and the points, it's the leadership and the confidence he gives his teammates. Fisher dribbles baseline all the way to the other side. Fighting the shot clock now, which is down to five. Maloney blocked it and is picked up by Drexler. Numbers for the Rockets, three on two. Maloney back to Bullard. He's been hot. Got another one. Three-pointer Matt Bullard. 11 in the game. You love it when a team runs a fast break for a three. 
It's been one of their primary weapons today, hasn't it? Maloney and Bullard off the break that time with a three. Maloney earlier in the game. Houston on a 12-1 run. Scoring baskets makes everything look good, and Matt Bullard is very successful here in the last minute and a half of play. Yeah, he's celebrating. Rudy, good substitution. Matt Bullard has not missed a shot. He's four for four, and three of the four were from the arc, leading that 12-1. Houston run has given them a 68-62 lead. And it's coincided with Charles Barkley insertion in the game, and the Lakers' running game is, is non-existent today. This is what teams try to do against the Lakers, though. Squeeze the game down. Make it a half-court game. Make them have to make decisions uh, in a half-court. and They know that they're going to feature Shaq or Eldon Campbell in the low post. Defense is double. Now they've got to make shots over the top. They haven't done it after the Rick Fox explosion when he got 11 points early. Well, we talked about the sacrifices that Rick Fox made. As Shaq continues to sit on the bench here. But a lot of Houston Rockets have made similar sacrifices. Barkley... Eddie Johnson, Kevin Willis have all taken less money to be part of what's really special down there for the Houston Rockets. I think Charles Barkley continues to have an immediate and sizable impact on the game coming off the bench. Remember, he sat out much of the quarter, but when he came in, the Rockets went on their run. In fact, since he entered the game, they've scored eight straight points. The psychological contributions that Barkley gives his teammates. Generally, when you lose on the road, it's because your fourth, fifth, and sixth guys just can't play well under the pressure of being on the road. Barkley gives him a great lift. Drexler with a steal, and Fisher deflects it out of bounds. We saw the bench scoring heavily in favor of the Rockets today, and that's been a big factor in their six-point lead. Two terrific defensive plays, uh, and that one kept the uh, Rockets from scoring. Drexler in an open court after he stole the ball, got it picked by Derek Fisher. Keen goes to the Rocket bench. Steal of the inbounds pass. Two on two. Fisher, Bryant, and the reverse jam. First points of the second half for Kobe. He has a dozen in the game. The Rockets have played smart defense today and not giving up silly, stupid fouls to make three-point plays. Backing off that time on Kobe Bryant. <laughs> Foul against Mario Bennett. But anytime the Lakers can shake loose in an open court, bad things are probably going to happen to, uh, for the opposition. And with Kobe Bryant on the finishing end, you know it's not going to be anything but spectacular. Steve, how about that time if, if Matt Maloney just ran over and guarded Kobe and let Derek Fisher go in? Bullard might have had an angle for a block there. Barkley's missed uh, three free throws in a row after he hit his first five. Rudy T has got to know that Barkley off the bench is a potent weapon, and Charles is the man that instigated that move. You know, the Rockets are struggling, and, and they've got to find a way to become consistent performers, and if that means one of the three uh, sits and comes off, uh, so be it. And I think that Barkley understands that. Uh, big afternoon so far, and you would think with those numbers, he started the ball game. What did he tell you? Charles said, I'm not a great player anymore, just a good player, but I have flashbacks. <laughs> Here's Willis with the Houston foul. Ball number 42, Kevin Willis. The thing about Charles Barkley is we look at Kevin Willis there picking up the foul. Willis almost needs to start. He wasn't that good of a player off the bench. Where Charles Barkley, he is so good that he's going to do well at whatever time he's in the game. Eldon Campbell. Well, record his seventh point, first of the half. Campbell had a nice second quarter and, and got a good rhythm, didn't miss a shot. When he's going like that, you, you got to get something out of him. Dell Harris has really been working with Eldon on learning how to play with Shaq. Talking to him about moving away from the ball, about setting some screens and getting to the offensive glass. Something that Eldon just doesn't do when he plays alongside Shaquille. A little cat and mouse, and now they're again down on the shot clock trying to find Barkley down on the low boat. Here's Charles, four to shoot. Made the ball fake, missed the shot, tapped by Willis, it won't go. Campbell chased it down. Fisher pushes for the Lakers. Bryant, cross court to Fisher for a long range two. 
right into the hands of Maloney, and they can hold for the final shot of the third quarter. This year has shown today his ability to get to the hoop and create, but the Lakers aren't finishing off his penetration. Count and Drexler down as they try to close with the shot for Bullard. He hasn't missed all day. That's the first one, and it comes at the horn to end the That's third the end quarter. Really a quarter that finds the Rockets on top by five. Charles Barkley again paying immediate dividends off the bench, while Rick Fox early kept the Lakers in front. Houston on a 14-4 run to end the quarter. We'll be back to the forum after these messages from your local station. Jim Vance and Doreen Gensler, working for you. This copyrighted telecast of the National Basketball Association may not be retransmitted, reproduced, or rebroadcast without the express written consent of the NBA. We start the fourth quarter with the Rockets on the road, leading the Lakers 70 to 65. And coming up next, the second half of the doubleheader, Grant Hill and the Pistons, Michael Jordan and the Chicago Bulls. That's Detroit and Chicago coming up next, the second half of our NBA on NBC doubleheader. Charles Barkley, who's led this surge here for the Rockets. Rockets are dominating the boards here in the second half. That's usually what they need to do when Houston gets in trouble. Drexler against Bryant. Ball away shot. He's been short all day on his shots. One for 12 shooting for Clyde today. Uh, O'Neal's back in the ball game, and the Lakers have started. They've they got to start getting something out of him. Uh, he's been out on the floor almost doubled every time he's caught it, and so he hasn't been an effective offensive player. Bryant for three. Nice position by Barkley for the rebound. NBA's third leading rebounder. Willis and O'Neal get into it, push and shove, and they lock up, and on the way up down the floor, O'Neal, O'Neal just dives into him and picks up a double foul. When you have three of the greatest players in the history of the NBA on your team, good things are bound to happen. Clyde not having a good day. Akeem, very solid considering his recovery program, and Barkley, always dominant, physically, emotionally, spiritually, in the biggest of the games. Double foul. It was number four on Willis and number one on O'Neal. So uh, Willis goes out of the ball game. Eliza Wan comes back in. Barkley against Campbell. Trying to get around him. Passes off to Akeem. Back rim. Drexler with an offensive board. He has done a good job on the boards today, Clyde. Has not shooting well, but he has ten rebounds. Done everything else well, but scored the ball. Barkley trying to get in. And he does. And wants the foul, too. But that's what's beautiful about basketball. Charles Barkley giving up seven inches in height to Eldon Campbell. Still just posts him up and faces him up. Greg Fox. That's a three. Fox has been the bailout man for the Lakers today. Without him, they'd be a double-digit deficit. That's 14 points in the second half for Rick Fox. So he, he's uh, really come alive for the Lakers. Still continue to pressure the Rockets. Lakers are just not accustomed. Oh, Colonel. Fisher gives it up to Fox. <laughs> 18 for Rick Fox, who averages 12 a game at timeout Houston. It's a 20. He didn't even start playing organized basketball until he was 15 years old. Grew up in the Bahamas. Right now, he's leading a spirited Laker comeback. Many folks there looking for the Bill Walton star on the sidewalk. <laughs> Rick Fox, two points at halftime. The second half has belonged to him, the hero of the hour for the Lakers. Fox has been terrific. Uh, he has been able to get in the open court and score. Uh, come into the basket or shoot over the top and, and that's helped the Lakers stay close to within two now. He scored the first nine of the third quarter. He scored the Lakers first five of the fourth. Barkley. Here's Akeem. You got to pull the trigger. Four on the shot clock. Maloney did and hit a long, long three. Matt Maloney, clutch shot. He has 11. Lakers are not accustomed to somebody challenging Shaq. So many players come in here and just fall down, fake an injury, shaq -itis. Here's Akeem Olajuwon, though, coming in on one leg. 
Jump ball as Barkley and O'Neal come down together. Well, it only takes one arm a shot to throw <laughs> Barkley away. And Barkley thought he was going to get a foul out of it. But uh, Elijah Wan changed the shot for Fisher. Watch out with one arm and <laughs> But what Akeem did right there, that's the hardest thing for anybody to do in basketball. Force a miss and then come back on the other side of the backboard and still make a defensive play on the ball. With Shaq and Barkley, and Shaq gets it right to Campbell, challenges Akeem, and the foul is called. It's either Drexler or Elijah Wan. Let's well, see. Drexler put his hand up, but I think this was going to go on Akeem. Foul number 22. Oh, they give it to Clyde. It is Drexler. Only the first on Clyde. And they run Rudy Tomjanovic back to uh, the <laughs> coach's line. Eldon Campbell hits the first free throw. Lakers really miss Robert Ory right now. Ory's been banged up a little bit. Has a dilated vein in the groin area that can become tender, they say. And his return uh, doubtful. Not definitely out, but unlikely he'll come back. But it was Ori who came into his own in this league when he was playing against Charles Barkley in the old Houston Phoenix series when Houston was winning championships. Barkley passes out of the double team to Eddie Johnson. And Barkley has the rebound. Come back with the same setup, and they're going to hope that they can double. They want Kobe Bryant to stay awake on Eddie Johnson. No movement for the Rockets. Drexler knocked out of bounds. Laker fall, foul. Call on Rick Fox. Good cut down the lane, and Drexler can't control the ball, and Fox just lands on top of him. Well, with Clyde not shooting well, he's done the right thing. He's worked on the little aspects of the game, the rebound, the back cutting. Four fouls now on Rick Fox. They're trying to generate everything through Charles Barkley to make the defense of the Los Angeles Lakers react or go one-on-one -on -one against Ellen Campbell. Pretty fall away, Charles Barkley. Game high, 22. And Charles barking at the crowd once again. Five-point lead. He has those 22 points in 23 minutes of play. And Kobe Bryant showed the ball a little bit too early. But you, you go back and you'll see that Barkley's having a good afternoon because he's making good decisions, backs away from Eldon Campbell over the top. But isn't that what you dream about, Steve? Just taking some big guy and just facing him <laughs> up. Step back jumpers, drop steps. Yeah, big guys like you. <laughs> <laughs> Campbell against Barkley, turns on Charles and answers. That's what Eldon was dreaming about. <laughs> Eldon's been solid this afternoon. He's uh, uh, into this ball game, and I'm sure Dell Harris is going to try to stay with him the final eight minutes of the game. Barkley. The problem that you have sometimes is you end up against the shot clock, and you don't make the shot. That turns the Lakers loose. Held it too long that time, Charles. They're going to try to come down to Shaq, get him going late in the ball game. There it is. Shaq has 14 points. Akeem, though, has done a marvelous job of keeping Shaq out of that really deep post but over the course of the game. Now that's a move. Elijah won <laughs> and one. Jack is so tough. Probably the second best player behind Jordan in the NBA right now. Able to just throw in that jump hook, but then Akeem answers with as pretty a move as you'll ever see with incredible balance and strength. Well, you know, we've got a game where centers feature different skills. You've got power and with Shaquille O'Neal. You've got finesse and quickness with uh, Akeem Olajuwon. And the power has 14 points. The finesse has 13. As has been the case in their 10 individual regular season matchups head-to-head, -head, their scoring is just about the same. In fact, they're averaging 23 each. Kobe Bryant turns and scores. Wow. 
Kobe uh, was going to throw it down the last time and Drexler blocked it, and it shows you the competitive, competitive spirit of Bryant. Comes right back and says, not this time. But you can see the fire in Akeem's eyes right now. He, he just wants everything. Barkley draws the foul. Loose ball foul, Eldon Campbell of the Lakers. His third. Now you take a look at Kobe Bryant, and again, knowing how to play offense is really the secret of being able to finish big plays. Shakes off Drexler. Bottom. Rockets by two. The artist, formerly known as Charles <laughs> Barkley, is making a hit today. No, Barkley has claimed he's just a good player, but he's having a great afternoon. We'll call it a flashback, but he has done it from every angle out on the floor this afternoon, even remembering he can throw him back at the defensive end. It has been the power and the finesse of Charles Barkley on display here in the fourth. One of the most unique players in the history of the game cannot really be classified as a prototype anything. He is the one and only Charles Barkley. Well, we could call him a basketball player. <laughs> He's a lot more than a basketball player. <laughs> Drexler trying to come across him and list. The only time he scored was on that kind of a move and from the field. Didn't get that one to drop. The Rockets passing has disappeared. They're all playing one on one. Two point game, 63% shooting for uh, the Lakers so far in the quarter. <laughs> Barkley with the rebound of the miss. Charles Barkley is in company like Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Will Chamberlain, and Elgin Baylor in terms of combined career assist points and rebound. Just four of them at the very top. Trying to go pick and roll with Drexler and Elijah Wan. Eight on the shot clock. Barkley against Campbell. Knocked out of bounds. Off Drexler. It'll be Laker ball. When was the last time the Rockets ha had a play other than just one-on-one? -on -one? shooting off your own dribble but still clinging to a two-point lead Van Exel he's struggling today too Elijah on with the outlet Maloney lob Drexler can't get it down one of 14 today for Clyde Drexler Terrific look by Matt Maloney, and Drexler made an adjustment. The Rockets fortunate to get it back, but they need something cheap and quick right now. They've been standing around. Elijah Wan, short. Fox. Here's Van Exel to Bryant. Drexler right back, his foul. Rick Fox with a personal foul. Kobe Bryant out in transition, one of the few times today the Lakers have got opportunities, and Van Exel is just perfect on the money with the pass. Above the rim, and uh, he's one of those guys that gets everybody off their seats when they see him leave his feet. <laughs> Puts the Rockets back in front. 16 points off the bench for Kobe today. There's his dad, Jelly Bean Bryant. And his mom, ma and his mom, Pam. It's been a lot of, of the years in Kobe's uh, youth playing professional basketball for Joe Jelly Bean over there in Italy. Kobe had to be sent videos of the NBA to learn how to play from Michael and Larry and Magic Johnson. Van Exel is 0 for 8. Another guy having a tough afternoon scoring the ball. Van Exel, he's had a couple of shots that normally drop for him. Akeem against Shaq. All the way jumper. Rebounded by Campbell. Again, one-on-one -on -one play. O'Neal quickly double team. He wants it back. He's got it. Turns on a key. No, rolled out. Campbell draws the foul. Eldon Campbell drawing the praise of the crowd here, working on that offensive glass. But this was a, this was a teaser. This ball hit all four <laughs> corners of the rim, rolls out. Now everybody's playing volleyball with it, and finally Campbell comes down. It's actually out of the hands in control-wise. 
but he gets a foul on uh, from Drexler. Lakers are the worst free throw shooting team in the NBA, 68.1 percent. Even though they take more shots than any other team per game. And with uh, that make, they are 15 of 21 today. We are tied at 81. Well, Houston could do worse than taking it to the mat. Bullard and Maloney have been the sharpshooters today. But those guys don't create their own shots. You've got to get Drexler, Barkley, and Akeem to give it up after they draw the collapsing defense. Four on the shot clock. Barkley. Tough shot. Shot clock violation. The only way that Barkley is going to be able to get the quick score and the foul is to go right away. Turn around, face him, blow by him, and expose Eldon Campbell. But if he's going to back him down against the clock, he's not going to have enough time to work his way around to get a good look and a turnover with a shot clock violation. Charles has always claimed that the bigger, taller guy standing up over the top of him, like Kevin McHale, give him the most trouble. O'Neal, double team, and a nice pass to Campbell. They're going to take their chances on Eldon, Eldon Campbell being the guy to beat him. They're not going to let O'Neal even get started. Oh, Every time he catches the ball, they're sending one, two guys to him. Campbell did the right thing, dove down the lane. Now I have a chance for a couple more free throws. Bullard committing his second foul. Yeah. Off the front rim, Campbell puts L.A. in front. Tough. When you talk to the Laker forwards about learning how to play with Shaq, Eldon, Rick Fox, Robert Ory, they all talk about how you have to move to that offensive glass because everybody's standing there either knocked over by Shaq, they're stunned by Shaq, they're in awe of Shaq, and you've got to learn how to get your game going. Six points in the quarter for Eldon Campbell. Drexler takes it right to the rim to score and has a chance for a three-point play. Kobe Bryant with a foul. Kobe Bryant got suckered into this play, left too much of the baseline open. Clyde got away with a little bit of a hook and uh, gets to the line. But it has been a tough afternoon for Drexler to find ways to score the ball, has a chance for a three-point play. He has eight points, two of 15 shooting, but he does have 11 rebounds, six assists, and four steals. He's done everything else. Speaking of those assists, Tom, uh, Clyde Drexler is the leading off-guard assist man in the NBA. Under three and a half minutes. Right now, you hear uh, Dale Harris telling his guys, get him in, and right now, go to the big drop. Bryant forced that one, but O'Neal bailed him out. Then it was stripped away from him by Barkley. Akeem is Stanley standing in there and giving everything he's got against Big Shaq. Barkley's gonna, he's got to go right now. He doesn't go early. He ends up with a tougher shot. That one drops in for him. Barkley shakes his head yes as he records number 24. And the Rockets have a four-point lead. Timeout, Lakers. Two minutes, 52 seconds left in the game. Can Barkley and the Rockets pull it off? Their first win of the season against the Lakers? Barkley says, uh-huh. Rockets leading the Lakers by six, 86-82. Timeouts left. Each team with the three fulls. The Lake Rockets also have a 20 and a foul to give. Charles Barkley continues to pace the Rockets. He was the only Rocket in double figures at halftime. Now there are four. Lakers have five in double figures, led by Rick Fox. But look at Shaquille O'Neal, 14 points today after scoring 30 or more in the last three games. They have effectively double teamed him this afternoon. Four-point lead for the Houston Rockets as Rexner almost had the steal, couldn't handle it, knocked out of bounds. But, Tom, that takes two seconds off the shot clock. Jim Gray reports from the Laker huddle during that timeout that pushed the ball when possible for the break, and then, if it's not there, dump it inside to Shaq or get it to Kobe for the isolation. 86-82, Rockets by four. Jones, three-pointer. Campbell offensive board to Bryant. Over the defense of Elijah on a big effort, two-point game. 
But as strong as Charles Barkley has been all day, that weak side defensive rebound has got to be his. Here's Barkley against Campbell again. That's been the most. And Barkley turns it over. Out of bounds. They've continually gone to Barkley against Campbell. They dance him down the sideline. He actually got pushed. The official didn't see the hand in the side. <laughs> and so uh, the Lakers get a good break. I can't believe that Barkley's not <laughs> shooting two there. Houston's turned it over four times in the quarter. Lakers don't have a turnover. O'Neal quickly double team. It's Bryant for three. And the long rebound to Maloney. Houston's defense has been superb today. The quickness of the double team and then the closeout. Here's Drexler. And he's fouled. They dumped it down in low. Kobe gets the wide open look. He's willing to take that shot off. Down in low. Kobe gets the wide open look. He's willing to take that shot all the time. And mom and dad just off. But Clyde Drexler turned in that corner. He, his head was down, Steve, and you've seen that a lot of years. But he, when he's that determined, he's either going to score or get to the line. He's 5 of 6 at the free throw line. And uh, tribute to the uh, pro that is Clyde Drexler that on a bad shooting day, he's done all the other things and is still willing to take the shot or make the move here in the stretch time. Six in the quarter for Drexler on a hard luck afternoon at the offensive end, but that, that makes it a four-point lead, and, and the Lakers are going to have to change what they're trying to do offensively. Akeem's eyes on defense. He is so focused in. Van Exel's had the tough shooting day, and he passed up the shot. Campbell against Barkley. Barkley clears it. Forced Eldon Campbell well behind the backboard now. Time for the Rockets to play real smart basketball. 115 left. Barkley's fall away. <laughs> Not a good shot off the glass. I guess he didn't hear you say it smart. <laughs> Come in the shot. Jones. Blocked by a team. Follow shot. Shaq. Houston timeout, 57.7 left. Shaq with the emphatic follow-up. Akeem did everything he could, but Shaq just stayed right with it. The Lakers got the ball up over the top for Shaq to throw it home. Season for a struggling Pistons as they look to approach playoff contention. Meanwhile, the Chicago Bulls looking to stay atop the Eastern Conference. Coming up next, Detroit versus Michael Jordan and the Chicago Bulls. As we send it back to Los Angeles now, Tom Hammond, Steve Jones, and Bill Walton. Rudy Tomjanovic and the Rockets trying to hang on to that two-point lead. They still have a foul to give. The Rockets play the shot clock to shoot at 40. That means they'll get the last shot of the game. Jim Gray tells us from the Rocket huddle that after our offensive set and then when the Lakers come down, if Shaq gets it in the low post, foul them immediately. Going to go pick and roll again. The last time Drexel was able to get across the middle. Missed the shot and rebounded by Campbell. Why would they want Drexler, who's having a horrendous shooting night, to take the shot? It was way too quick on the shot clock, too, Tom. Uh, they're going to come into Shaq up there. They try to get a steal, but they call a foul. There's the one that they had to give. And it's gone. It's four on Akeem. Still a two-point game with 36.2 seconds left. Here comes O'Neal across as... Drexler deflected out of bounds. Surprised Rudy Tomjanovich hasn't come with Kevin Willis for a defensive possession here. Get Bullard out of there and get somebody to bang with Eldon Campbell. Well, they're going to come to Shaq. They were supposed to foul him, and they didn't. Didn't foul him. Didn't foul him. They let him have the slam, and we're tied at 88. Rockets play for one right here. No brainer. Charles Barkley against Campbell. Fall away. Good! Barkley!
Bailey has been the man today for the Houston Rockets. 26 points, including the clutch all the way over Eldon Campbell that gives them a two-point lead with 3.6 left. Back after these messages from your local station. To win big time in the NBA, you've got to have guys who can create at the end of the game off their own dribble. Charles Barkley, beautiful. You live for a situation like that, and he just busts Eldon Campbell and everyone ecstatic on the Houston bench and in the state of Texas. Uh, you've got 3.6 left in the ball game, a two-point advantage. You know that they, if Shaq gets the ball, they're going to foul him. The two people are going to be featured in this play, probably Kobe Bryant, Shaquille O'Neal, and uh, the third option would be Eddie Jones. Still no Kevin Willis. Delay a game warning. Delay a game warning against the Rockets on Matt Bullard, who's guarding the inbound passer, Eddie Jones. Trying to get the ball to Kobe Bryant. To Van Exel instead. Van Exel's floater. No good. It's big three. Barkley, Elijah Wan, and Drexler scored 17 of their last 20 points, including 15 in a row. Here's that last shot. Van Exel was looking for a foul all the way. He got bodied and hit, still holding it to get it up. And uh, there's still enough time. Kobe Bryant can't control it, and they end up with a heartbreaking loss. But Van Exel definitely was bodied, and Del Harris was all over the official. Nick Van Exel jumped in. Matt Maloney fell back. Rudy Tom Janovich says, let's get out of here quick. Well, Sir Charles carried the day, and he is with Jim Gray. All right, thank you very much, Tom. Well, the artist you said, formerly known as Charles Barkley, I, I guess you get your name back. You are Charles Barkley. Tell us about the jump winning jumper there. Well, I could play well every now and then, but I'm the artist. You know, Coach called a four-hole. I wanted to get the last possible shot. I got a great shot. I don't shoot the ball well going to my right. I shoot the ball a lot better going to my left. And I felt good about my shot all day today. Now, Clyde couldn't get anything going today. Hakeem struggled. You come off the bench with 26. Are you getting more and more comfortable with this coming off the bench? And is it benefiting the team, you think? Well, I don't care if I come off the bench and start, Jim. When I come in, I'm just going to try to make something happen. You know, I had, you know, Pat Riders, I always talk about his word, voluntary cooperation. Kevin's had a great year. I didn't want to take away from his glory. I've had plenty of glory, but I'm just glad we won. Just let people know we're still alive. Now you're in this spot. You guys would face the Lakers if the playoffs were to begin today. Oh, we need to get out that spot then. <laughs> we try. We got to try to ball the Lakers in Seattle. I mean, we we're very fortunate to win today, but you don't want. You definitely don't want to play Seattle. And I don't really think you want to play the Lakers. I guess you were a little upset. You weren't on the All-Star team. You made up for it today. Congratulations, Charles. Oh, Vegas was good, baby. <laughs> Back to you, Tom. All right, Jim. Charles Barkley carried the day, the veterans of the Rockets. Van Exel here with that uh, last Laker shot. As the horn sounds and the Rockets avoid the regular season sweep by winning by two on this shot by Barkley. 90-88, Houston Beach, Los Angeles. Now stay tuned for the conclusion of our NBA on NBC doubleheader as the Pistons take on the Bulls. For Steve Jones, Bill Walton, and Jim Gray, Tom Hammond saying so long from Los Angeles. <laughs>